Because you could you can move up to your movement and then choose to take the dash action. You don't have to commit to it now. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll use the movement action. Okay. So you could move to this spot or this spot with your movement. I would like to move just to the other side of the door, keeping sure. up with Sarkal. So yeah, you you get to the other side of the door and you see an orc with a bow who uh, is slowly going for another arrow to notch. And you see this large orc who is waving her hands around in what looks like some sort of incantation. Oh. Hmm. Um, she's not looking at you, though. She's focusing on her spear. Um, are you doing anything else? <clears throat> like to try to... In, uh, I need to try to intimidate that archer that he is not making a wise decision. Can I use Thaumaturgy to kind of give my voice a little extra boom there to, to maybe help intimidate this guy. Let's see the effects of Thaumaturgy. Um, you can... Okay, so Thaumaturgy is a whole action. Uh, to intimidate mm. him would be a second action. Mm. Um... Yeah, it would take it would take the spell cast, and then your next turn you could use it to try to intimidate. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let's see. And I'm assuming uh, so. I can have up to three effects of thaumaturgy going at once. I'm assuming it's one action to create one. Yes. In yeah, you influence. Would, you would have to cast it multiple times to get up to three. Okay. So yeah, then I then I'll, then I'll spend my action getting ready to ampl amplify my voice. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anything with a bonus action? We never picked up that axe, did we? No, you did not. It is across the ridge. <laughs> Eat that some bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't want nobody using it. <laughs> Biff and Servo, uh, you see, uh, uh, it's almost like a torch got lit and then snuffed out as as this axe on the ground in the corner just goes bright with with orange glow and then right back down to a dull, uh, a real dull yellow, or I guess a dull red. Oh. Got it. Uh, next up is. Circle. Let's see. Are these beds that are here on the ground? Is there anything flammable that I can see? They're bed rolls. They're bed rolls. Yes. So there's there's like uh, like loose blankets on the ground with hastily made pillows. And one has a bow, and the other has is focusing on incantation. Um, An incantation I... on her spear that she's holding. Yes, on her spear. Mm -hmm. And that is the the assistant manager that you ran into earlier. Um. Let's see. Can I? Uh, I'd have darts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How far will my darts go? Uh, range should be on your equipment. Range equipment darts goes. Uh, twenty to sixty. So within twenty feet, you will roll just a normal attack roll. Between twenty feet and sixty feet. It'll be at disadvantage, so you roll twice and then take the lesser of these. This Ooh. man's got darts, and he walked mm -hmm. up to a fucking archer. <laughs> Twenty feet's not going to get very far. 
In uh, fairness, darts only do one d4 damage. Okay. And and as a monk, if he's within melee, he can do that without even trying. Well, I was just I was just gonna try to interrupt her spell by hitting her with a dart or something. I'm sure you could try that. Um, so go ahead and make that throw. <laughs> Religion check. What? I d- that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> um, what am I? What am I rolling? So, so you're gonna roll your your attack roll with that. It's gonna be the D twenty plus um your dexterity modifier plus your proficiency. So plus four. D twenty plus four. I've rolled that before. D twenty mm-hmm. plus four. Ah, here we go. Yeah, for weapon attacks, you're. Generally, going to be rolling the same thing because you're using dexterity for all these weapons. I think you're proficient with them as well. So, oh, to be clear, these aren't darts; these are ninja stars because he's a monk. Oh, ho, 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 ho. functionally the same thing, but <laughs> uh, I'm changing this to ninja stars. <laughs> Uh, 17. Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage for me. So it's a 1, it'll be a d4 plus 2. Sorry, one more second, guys. Uh, 1d4 plus 2. Why is it not? It's okay. I love how, like, the past two episodes, we've we've done as much as we can to, like, avoid battles, and, like, we went around a bunch <laughs> of orcs. In this one, we went to avoid a battle, and then we ended up in a battle. <laughs> then we ended up into another battle. <laughs> Lat walked into a room and ended up in a third battle. Cool, so, uh, yeah, you throw this ninja star, and it flaks her right in the arm that she's kind of waving around the spear. She is not phased. Um, she doesn't even pause. The, you see it hit, and you see a stream of blood start to trickle down from the star on, on her wrist. She doesn't even hesitate. She still casts this incantation. <clears throat> um, That's a badass bitch, bitch, bitch. Sir, <laughs> though, you are up. Um, geez. Kind of rough. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm gonna move up behind on the other side of the door to get out of where these orcs can, like, see me. Okay. Uh, Just on the other side here. Should should we take a second to shout out Mr. Question 11 in the chat going nuts with us? Absolutely. Just Slam down his his gauntlet with eight total gifted subs in the channel. That's crazy. Fucking champ, Mr. Question. He's given a total now and a total now of twenty four gifted subs. Good lord. Oh, and another hundred bits on top of that. Hey, question. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Mr. Thank question. You, thank you. Yes. Much question. appreciated. He's always got to have that top spot. Number one for gift subs. <laughs> Hell to the yeah. He has an intense desire for that spot. On, all right. In all uh, channels. Rightfully earned. Alright, back to the game. Servo, you have moved up to the door. Do you want to enter? Uh, n- no, I don't want to be like in the line of fire. Okay. Um, uh, just, just a heads up. The Orcs across still have javelins that they could potentially throw at you. Just throwing that uh, out there. Uh, but it still will be a disadvantage that out the there. Uh, oh, yeah. There you were here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I don't really have much else I can do. Uh, the only weapon I have is a dagger, so... Again, you have that Eldritch Blast, which is a I do. terrifying cantrip. I guess... Actually, you know what? That, that one, one guy... No, I, I take that back. The one, that one asshole that, that hurt my buddy. 
Sorry. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and fin- I'm gonna try and finish him off. This this yeah, all started because there. we wanted to save Thark. It, it did. So mm-hmm. let's, yeah, let's continue that. What was it? One d twenty plus five is yes. what I rolled before. Mm-hmm. Ah, darn it! I did it again. There. What? Okay. All right. Weird. Yeah. So that's seven. Uh, you you shoot this this bolt across, and it just streaks right right in between Thark and this this orc. And Thark, Thark lets out a little yelp. And goes. Oh! I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't mess with my friend. All right. Now it is the orcs' turn. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Biff, you were going to get two two more javelins thrown at you, and it looks like these are the last javelins from these boys. Um, does an eleven hit your armor class? Yes, it does. Okay. So you take one hit, and the second one's gonna miss. Yeah, the second one misses. Um, so you can oh. take one javelin. For a meaty six piercing damage, as it place, places a, a javelin in your abdomen, and my little servo, body, servo, you are taking. So servo, he throws a javelin, and it actually arcs over your head and slams into the door across the room behind you, and you hear it hit and go. Dun, 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 dun. As it whirls. And I go. That was, a, that was a natural one. All right. Uh, we're down to Biff. Can I just cry? <laughs> so I want to cry in two health. Um, I'm going to make my way downtown. Walking fast. Face is passing your home back. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way to the other side of the door. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, this, things are bad on this side. <laughs> things are much better over there. Man. What about well, I don't know that yet. Biff, you can get to those those two spots in front of Ballin and, and Zarkol should you so choose. I would just like to make it like around where they are. Like just, just around over in there. Okay. Sure. Um, from your angle, you're partially obscured from the two orcs who were throwing javelins at you, so it'll be harder to hit you. That's that's good. That's what I like. I have two health. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you doing anything else on your turn? Uh, you could take the dodge action, so they would roll a disadvantage, but they're already rolling a disadvantage, so... Double disadvantage! Hmm. It's not how that works, unfortunately, but... Well, you know, I gotta... I gotta... If any other potential attacks were to come, say, from the other side of the door... Um, yeah. um I got a I got a weird question. How sure. how tall is the how tall is the cave that we're in? Um it is I believe about thirty feet high. Okay, I just wanted to know just in case, you know. I just it was a question. Double check that. I just thought, you know, maybe maybe it might be might be neat. Um Oh, no, no. Yeah, it's, about, it's about thirty feet high, with the exception to over the over the rift. There's another carve, uh, another chasm that actually goes vertically as well. You can't tell how far it is, but Can, the cave cave sides that have been carved out are about thirty feet high. And, and am I? And what what side of the door am I on? You are currently on the back side of the door. Is, is the door open? Um, no, nobody's. I would I would say no. Can I can I open the door and see what the other guys are up to? Sure. Yeah, you open the door and you see the uh, two orcs you guys ran away from. Uh, one has a bow with an arrow that is it is notched right now. Uh, the other is is finishing up an incantation on the weapon. Uh, Server, you gotta go. Yeah, I need to. I need to dip. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we can actually stop here. It's a decent enough place to stop. That's fine. Before sure. before we end my turn, can I can I like, hey hey Moose or hey hey, hey Molinard, 
Um, yes. You know, uh, you 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 seem to do pretty well at close range. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, a high five real fast and uh, and make sure that you can jump good. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna cast jump on on All Molodai. right. All right. You, you seem to you seem to have some issues over there. So this this seems like a better idea. What about this? Let's, let's just a little high five real fast. We'll just yeah. Sure. Yeah. Pew. So you you uh uh Biff touches you and you your legs feel much stronger all of a sudden. Like it's it's as if your 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 weight has dropped significantly. And that's where we'll stop for tonight. We'll pick this up uh next week if you guys are cool with that or in two. I know the schedule's a little jumpy right now, but I'm good for next week if you guys are. I don't have an issue with it. I think that's very possible. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Same. All right. Well, let's see how you guys get out of this one next uh, week. I um, think D&D. the I think the the ideal term is if we got out of this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't die tonight, so. That is very true. We did not die tonight, but another we came day. very, very close. You exceeded expectations by not dying this session. I'll say that. And we will just give it up again yeah. for Mr. Question, who is just lighting it up with bits right now. Not right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just tonight he's already up to 130. Oh, wow. That's what's up. Good yeah, lore awesome. question. It's all good. Oh boy. Thanks again, Austin. I really appreciate you, man. I'm gonna go ahead Hell and, yeah. and close out. Yep, right. yep, yep. Sounds good. Bye. Bye, Servo. Bye. Peace, everybody. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks for joining in a part of the DD. It is always fun. It is such a good to Jesus question. It's still going. I was just going mad crazy over there. <laughs> I can't even keep up right now. OBS can't even keep up right now. Exactly. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know what to. All right. What? What? What else do we got coming up? What do we got going on? Uh, Sunday podcast. Sunday podcast. Seven p.m. Eastern time. Right here. Same channel. And Wednesdays, the Survival Boys are back at it. That's right. Wednesdays, the Survival Boys back at it with some more Volcanoids. Where yeah, uh, Moose and I have very, very vastly different streams where he knows what he's doing and I just run around and shoot robots and <laughs> scream about grenades. Exactly. <laughs> and then I'm supplying you with said grenades. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's all that really matters, right? I dig it. Oh, it's such a time. All right, let's see. I believe we are going to jump and send a raid over to Jack because Jack is going to be doing some stuff right now. So we'll send that over. But thank you guys for hanging out again. Question, you were just a mad lad. All right. We love you, question. And we love and appreciate you so much. Uh, Austin, as always, thank you for being a wonderful DM and keeping up with all of our <laughs> insane antics. Thanks like, for hell yeah. Like, you They're know, trying to kill us. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks for trying to kill us. Um, we're hey, sorry man, that you haven't succeeded yet. I don't make the rules. I, <laughs> I just, I let you guys play. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and where, where, where can they find you? Where can they find you outside of the D&D streams? Yeah, outside of the D&D streams, you can find me at Darby's Dungeon. A little tabletop board game shop off of uh, Beach in San Pablo, right next to Bagel's RS. If you guys want to get the uh, supplement that we're playing from, it's Tales of the Yawning Portal. Available for sale at Darby's Dungeon. Uh, as well as any of your other tabletop gaming needs. Yo, go stop in. They are open. You can stop in, hang out, say hi to Austin. And, uh... Let and her know I sent you. Exactly. Exactly. Hell yeah. And we will see everybody on Sunday. I oh my god, it. question. Question. You mad lad. You can stop at any time. <laughs> <laughs> you 
still going. He's still going. <laughs> Good lord. Oh. I can't, I can't, I can't end because it hasn't stopped. I'm just... How, how are you guys doing tonight? How's it going? <laughs> doing good. <laughs> Riding have, a wave of good feeling. We'll just post D and D hangout. What's up? How big? Oh my so, god! So tonight's episode was brought to you by the letter three. <laughs> <laughs> tonight's episode of the Remnant D and D night was brought to you by Sticks. Sticks. You can find them by the Cricks. Sticks. They go great in oh, your fireplace. So Hey, Biff, how good is your weapon-making skills? Well, you see, uh, I make a lot of weapons out by the creek. You want what you want? I got I got whips, I got sticks, I got stick whips. I can, can even you, make you... Uh, can you craft me some nunchaku? Uh, now, you see, you we all we gotta do is take two sticks and attach to a rope. Two sticks and yeah, I was about to say, a rope. Two sticks with a whip in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just what I call Easy stick easy. whip. That's a double stick whip, actually. Yeah. That's, you, that's what you hey. use when you want to spank two two little crick children at once. You get yeah. a good old stick whip, you hold in the middle, and you swap them both. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I have in mind. Okay. Spanking crick children. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's, there you go. That's that's what it is. That's that's all the Biff does. I make sticks. Question: I have to cut you off at some point, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you insane, insane man. We love you so much. So I scrolled like three or four times, and it's just question donate. <laughs> We we gotta we gotta cut you off. You gotta you gotta save it for next time. Save it for Sunday question. <laughs> oh my god. And then Brilliant. Moose activates the face of God over there. Yeah. Just... <laughs> yes. Lit up like a Nuka Cola quantum. Yes. <laughs> yes, my children. Oh, man. All right, all right. We gotta. We do have to end. We do have to end. I have to get yeah. food. I'm hungry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh question. You gotta stop. All right. We're we're raiding Jack. We're gonna send some love over to him. Go show send him. Send some love to Jack. Go show him yes. all of the love that you've shown us tonight. Uh Thank you guys for hanging out. I got you, Dad. Oh, oh, look at that. We got, got a little you. one. You gonna say hey? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that effect on people. It's fine. Oh, God. Mm. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And we will see you Sunday. Booyakasha. Booyakasha. Oh good, yeah, good night. Yeah. All right, we're out. I had to cut question off. You just <laughs> absolute monster.